Mm-mm. Yeah, my a couple morning ago. Critics come on the live. Oh, we found the culprit. We know who given. You know, he's called me Smelly Smell. We know who given Smelly Smell her information on this government. Could you believe the traitor is one of the own just because he wants to be president? And this and the and critics come on the live. Y'all know it's Nandalal, they say. Giving me poor Nandalal. Anyway, y'all kill Nandalal. Me really kill. <laughs> Hello. Yes, is he. Nandalal, tell them is you give me the secrets. Yes, yes, is Nandalal. Y'all, please. I reach out to Mr. Mohammed and he assists me in getting up my stuff for my business. And today, I'm very grateful for everything he has done for me. And I like to say, I'm very, very happy. Why do you like prayer? Because prayer is a civic. Why? My y'all, y'all is make I gotta come and tell, tell y'all everything. They like prayer cause prayer is not, prayer is not PPP. You know, the PPP civic, prayer is a civic. You understand? Like it. Come back. Minister son, y'all know that accident that happened that was on, on Guyana Day. Shit, I got the accident. Where the black vehicle, the government vehicle, as they say, that ran into that ran into that that them people care. Y'all know the man wife died, and y'all know that it was Onage Minister Minister Onage. You know it's her son. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana. And the diaspora. Thanks. Member of Parliament Ganesh Mahipal has poured cold water on the government's recent decision to block the award of a $28 M contract to a firm owned by the regional engineer in Region 8, Lajman Singh. Mahipal said the move was calculated to distract attention away from the bigger picture. According to Mahipal, Singh is no stranger to the Ministry of Public Works and Amerindian Affairs. Our intelligence is clear. Whenever PPP see ministers grace Region 8, they are wined and dined at Lean's restaurant and bar, owned by the same individual behind Lean's contracting enterprise, Mahipal said. He explained that there was an instance where Singh stood before the Public Accounts Committee and accused a regional executive officer of directing him to undertake illegal activities under that PNU and FC administration. But one must ask, who directed him to open a contracting company and who is instructing him to do wrong things now? Could it be a PPP? See minister pulling the strings behind the scenes. He questioned. He advised that the citizens must not be deceived by surface level optics and the government wants them to believe that they are addressing the issues. However, this is just a calculated distraction. Mahipal is of the opinion that the government knows fully well who this engineer is and they continue to enable his actions in Region 8. Now, with elections on the horizon, they are attempting to sell us on a false narrative of reform. Furthermore, Mahipal disclosed that there is a PPP, C regional councillor in Region 8, reportedly very close to Minister of Amerindian Affairs, Paul in Sukhai. Mahipal said the said contractor receives a lot of contracts in Region 1. The time will come when their names, faces, and company will be exposed. But make no mistake, this is the most corrupt government Guyana has ever seen and we cannot allow ourselves to be blindsided by their games, he said. On Monday, this publication reported that Singh was told to decide whether he wants to be an employee of the state or work as a private contractor after he had won the $28M contract through the National Procurement and Tender Administration Board. Vice President Barrett Jagdio exposed the issue. He said there are complaints that persons may be influenced or they may be violating procurement laws because of instructions they receive. They may even lack awareness of the law and what it has provisions in place for. However, he said the current administration has embarked on a campaign to fix all of this and they have made it clear that non-adherence to the law will not be tolerated at a political level. A total of 389 contracts for small contractors in Region 6 East Barbis Quarantine were inked on Tuesday. Altogether, these contracts are worth about $6.9 billion. The contracts were inked as Vice President Dr. Barra Jadil visited the region on Tuesday. 
The contracts are for various road upgrades. Importantly, the vice president told residents that a new rating system has been developed to allow more persons, especially smaller contractors, to secure work contracts needed. This system will allow small contractors to get deals without getting involved in the standard bidding process. Meanwhile, an additional $7 billion in contracts will be tendered for larger contractors to undertake more extensive projects shortly. The vice president, however, noted that while newer or smaller contractors benefit from the non-bidding allocation process, larger projects will follow a competitive tendering system. Contractors with experience handling projects worth $20 to $30 million or more will have the opportunity to bid. And Jack Deal made his expectations of contractors very clear as he advised contractors to not engage in any form of bribery. The government wants this to happen. Secondly, if anyone accepts a bribe from you for doing shoddy work, any engineer or anyone, you let us know. You are clear what we want to achieve here, he said. He also stressed that contractors are expected to deliver high-quality work and that poor performance will result in being blacklisted from future projects. We will just put you on a list that you didn't do well on a project. The work you do here leaves room for you to make money but don't think it's a one-off thing. If you want to grow, we will provide you with the opportunities for growth and I expect you to do proper work. The VP reiterated that the government's approach aims to foster a transparent and inclusive environment for contractors of all sizes and by doing so ensures fairness, accountability, and quality. My name is Odessa Dagger from Auckland Estate, starting Auckland Estate. I'm the Vice President remember finger that wipe away your tears during hard times is greater than the thousand hands that talk for it, your success. So with that being said, I encourage my fellow Guyanese brothers and sisters, when you know your neighbor, your family, whoever is going through hardships or disasters, look out for them, be there for them. With two suspects already before the court on abduction charges, the Guyana police force has sought and been granted additional time to detain five other suspects in the abduction and disappearance of Georgetown resident Joshua David. This coming Thursday will mark two weeks since David was last seen. He was snatched from outside a Main Street restaurant and bumbled into a waiting car. The incident was captured on the cell phone camera of someone who was sitting in a car nearby. Last Friday, the police charged two men in connection with the abduction, while announcing that five others had surrendered following the issuance of wanted bulletins for them. The police were forced to seek additional time to question the suspects as the 72 hours period of them being in custody expired. With the extension granted, the five suspects are being questioned about their links to the missing man in his abduction and disappearance. Some of the men have been identified as those captured on camera abducting the man and throwing him into a car. They have not been providing any useful information on the missing man's whereabouts. Last week, investigators searched a number of communities across the city and on the east coast for the man, but all of those searches came up empty-handing. The man's family members are still hopeful that he will be found alive, although that hope appears to be slipping away 
Way. Former Commissioner of Police Winston Felix, who also served as a Minister of Government under the David Granger administration, believes the recent kidnapping of Joshua David is a serious security concern for citizens. David was snatched just outside a Main Street restaurant in two weeks ago and has not been seen or heard from since then. The entire incident was captured on camera. In an interview, Felix said the abduction is reminiscent of the events that unfolded during the crime wave during the early 2000s. Seconds. He said kidnapping often creates insecurity in the society with citizens feeling unsafe. So, it brings about a lot of fear and insecurity among citizens in society. And it is made worse when there is so much distrust and rumors of dishonesty among senior echelons of the Diana police force. This makes it no better for citizen security, the former police commissioner said. Last Friday, two men, who hailed from the city Alpha Pool and Asafu Peters, were charged and remanded to prison for the abduction of David. Poole and Peters had surrendered to the police earlier that week following the issuance of wanted bulletins for them and four others. In addition to Poole and Peters, five other suspects have since surrendered to the police. Felix today questioned whether the police, in conducting their investigation, adhered to standard procedures. He said too that there are a number of unanswered questions. The fact that they can't find the person up to this time leaves a lot of questions in the minds of the public. Is the person alive? If the person is alive, where is he? Why he can't be released? Why can't the police get a breakthrough with respect to tracing the person? Those are initial questions which ought to be answered, he said. Family members have told reporters they are unaware of what might have led to the man's abduction. The investigation into the kidnapping continues. Michael Thomas, 50, a businessman of Bachelor's Adventure, East Coast Emerald, was arrested on Monday night after he discharged a loaded firearm. The incident occurred at about 2020 is in the vicinity of the Route 44 minibus park in Georgetown. Police headquarters related that ranks were on mobile patrol on Avenue of the Republic, in the vicinity of the Route 50 Burbis bus park, when they heard a gunshot. The ranks proceeded to the Route 44 bus park and on arrival, the businessman was observed putting what appeared to be a firearm in his pants waist. After a search was conducted on Thomas, a .32 Taurus pistol with two magazines along with 14 rounds of ammunition were found. One spent shell was also found. Police said the businessman is a licensed firearm holder. The suspect was arrested and escorted to the Brickton Police Station where the firearm, spent shell and ammunition were placed into separate evidence bags, marked and sealed in his presence and lodged to be taken to the ballistics section for analysis. No one was injured. Investigations are ongoing. Jiang King Chen, a 50-year-old Chinese businessman, is currently hospitalized with gunshot wounds after he was shot this morning at about 07 on October 8 at First Choice Chinese Supermarket on Durban Street, Georgetown. The suspect is said to be a male on a black motorcycle who was armed with a handgun. Chen is the owner of First Choice Supermarket, which is located on the north side of Durban Street. He is also the owner of a gray Nissan motor car bearing registration number PAG 4518. A 26-year-old security guard attached to the supermarket told investigators he was on duty at the time in the guard hut when he observed Chen in his motor car, which was parked in front of the supermarket. The guard further said he overheard Chen arguing with someone on his phone. A short while later, he heard several loud explosions suspected to be gunshots. He then observed and saw the suspect rolled away at a fast rate, heading west on Durban Street, making good his escape. A security guard said he observed Chen's hand was out of the vehicle door. He went up to the car and observed Chen in the driver's seat, covered in blood. He immediately called Marvin Crawford, a 49-year-old businessman who owns the guard service, and told him what had taken place. Shortly after, Marvin arrived at the location and took Chen to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, where he was admitted as a patient and slated to undergo surgery. His condition was listed as serious. Chen received several gunshot wounds. An eye full was found in the driver's seat. The scene was processed, and three suspected 9M and spent shells were found. Investigations are ongoing. Hey, to you with a drink, come. Yes. Come, look, drink now. Come back. I try my drinking again. Swing dogs. 
Swing out. Swing out. I'm with you. Take your time, man. Take your time. Train away the thing. Man's a man. Mm -mm. Yeah, man, a couple of morning ago, critics come on the live. Oh, we found the culprit. We know who given, you know, he's called me Smelly Smell. We know who given Smelly Smell her information on this government. Could you believe the traitor is one of the own just because he wants to be president? And this and the and critics come on the live. Y'all know it's Nandalal, they say. Giving me poor Nandalal. Anyway, y'all kill Nandalal. Me really kill. <laughs> Hello. Yes, is he. Nandalal, tell them it's you give me the secrets. Yes, is yes, is Nandalal. Y'all, please. Is Nandalal giving me all your business. Nandalal, tell me your business. Stop it now. Y'all need to stop it now. Listen. I just laugh, I laugh, I laugh. Because first they were saying, first they saying was Charles, right? We can hear they say, no, oh, I don't say nothing bad but Charles. Or, oh, I don't say nothing bad but Anne Nandalal. But the truth is, what I going to say about Anne Nandalal? He died at y'all, techie and dumpy at Ministry of Legal Affairs. Yeah, just give you the position for giving you the position sake. He ain't really worth nothing to the party. Y'all can't shock you out because he know all y'all, because he know y'all business. Um... Y'all know he's very ambitious. Y'all know he want to be presidential candidate. But then y'all need him. Because he might be a jackass. He ain't gonna ever be presidential candidate. But he's a little smart. Gotta give the tea. He's a liar. He's smart. He went to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thief couple of books. And you know, he just come out every now and again. And he just mm -hmm. throw a bluff. And somebody said, Nah, the lad, your dinner is ready. <laughs> you can come out every now and again. He can throw a bluff. He can use some big words, some legal terms that he think nobody can understand. And he feel he could he could bluff the international community, but he can um they discussing about law about extradition. No, 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 scunt we talking about. Anyways. So they can't get rid of Nandalal. So they gotta keep it there. Nandalal ain't gonna go no way. Um the cheaty for the um the cheaty for the local for the local government election. Um they get Kwame and them as they vote. Um he did little vex but then he come back. You know, he, he little vex but he can't do better. He can't do better. He ain't like Jack Dio, you know, he like the best bone in Jack, he ain't like the best bone in the front. But he can't left the party. You understand? He can't do better. He cannot do better. He has to stay right with there at the Ministry of Legal Affairs, be Attorney General, and that is it. That is your position. Nothing more, nothing less. That is your position. So, why do you like prayer? Because prayer is a civic. Why? My y'all, y'all is make I got come and tell, tell y'all everything. They don't like prayer because prayer is not prayer is not PPP. You know, is the PPP civic? Prayers are civic. You understand? And pray a little slow. Oh, you say me was a pray a little slow. I pray a plenty slow. Pray just gone. Pray just. Pray just. Pray just loose. <laughs> me know if y'all understand what I mean. Pray just. Just loose. <laughs> pray. Pray again, oh. Pray you no know, time and place. Pray you no know, when for shut up. Pray you no know, when for say certain thing. Pray you just loose. <laughs> right? So, they're trying for. <laughs> Somebody said, man, no, don't say no. I ain't gonna repeat. Leela, stop it. Anyway, I'm not repeating that. Anyway. Somebody asked me about what going on with you. Hello, let me tell you something. I don't touch. All of them commit crimes and everybody know what crime exactly. All of them commit crimes. Everybody know what crimes each other commit. A while prayer loose, pray your husband. Right? Who retire from the army and come back when the people come back in power. Pray your husband getting a set of contracts. Pray your husband getting a set of contracts and a set of money. He told Billing House and Sophie side chick. Listen. Listen. Get <laughs> listen. 
If you are looking for it, if you are really looking for it, let me tell you, if you are really looking for it, not Ashley sing Ashley with the girl for years, not Ashley. Um, who free? Which one of the minister free you could take? Barot here, but ten. So if you want gonna be number eleven, you must take a giant line. Um, he a fan. He get couple too. So I know what position you are gonna play. Um, who else? The bishop. You can get him with the bishop. Um, you can get him with Robson Ben. Now, pre husband, he does he don't get his side chick. He likes a bad, 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 building house and stuff for sure. So he out. Who more? Charles. You could take Charles, but Charles is a bit bad. Yeah. We're going, and you're there with Charles. Charles is a bit bad. Take a fool. Who else there? Which other minister? Who else I miss? Don't worry with um rename again at um <laughs> Oh you could apply for side chick position. This one trying for Sart out here for y'all with which which minister need a side chick. I trying for Sart but like no none of them in available. I trying for Sart out for y'all. <laughs> Let me see. I mean care about them, but who you got for me? <laughs> Yo, I hear the five nine two. Y'all ain't got no order. Let me see. Um Somebody said Ben that's nasty. Past the man, he might got me taking <laughs> No, but all jokes aside, y'all want bishops. Alright. Um y'all want the bishop. Um <laughs> You know. You could fight though, y'all could fight. If you could fight, got them side chick fighting, the wife the fighting too. Yeah, I could fight. If you could fight, say I. So I could start looking for the looking for the minister for give y'all. Nobody want critics. If you go with Charles, no for fight, guy and Alex. Vikram Barat, he's knocked to he and he and loose. So plus he get enough. I very corrupt more than you would there, sir. Man, this one with that um. This rubber stamp, what is rubber stamp? One name, what he and Darmalala went in the um triangle love affair the other day. I can't even give y'all he ka. He gone, he there with he there with um Nigel, ex woman there. This is what I had the big fight over. Nigel go lock she up, she get he personal computer. Me never tell y'all the story. The story coming in Ghana, I didn't even touch the story, I didn't really care about the story. Um, we name is all the eyes in the comment who could fight. <laughs> Man, of that song. <laughs> Somebody say, What about hello? Somebody say, Who asks about Anil? Todd. Todd, um, mm -mm. Todd, clicky girl, he girl is there dressing alike and so they eat. Todd in love. Todd is dressed alike with his, with the secretary. Um, and he's Todd in love. He, 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 he um, me think he can left. She might get somebody else. Todd out. Yeah, no word, Todd. Todd in love. Um, I just run, I'm be fighting. Men won't be able to harass the man. I want one too. So everybody, like you see, me ain't nobody forget you, sorry. But you could try your luck, you never know. Because it's every day they're picking up. The rubber stamp PM, Prime Minister, he fit nothing boo. Don't waste your time. Um, he's a waste. Um, you are Roy. Roy still functioning? Listen. I promise not to. <laughs> I promise not to talk about these people. Story on this internet. Yeah, stop asking me things about me. None of them is single. All them get side tricks. They get people that got take care of and them kind of things. So, yeah, lam. You want to dress alike though? That is dress alike with really side chick. Tamika, he does. Tamika, he does. Like you, like you, you didn't follow any story with he, Darmalal, and um, the girl from, 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 um, from the ministry the other day. Whoa, 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 lock up, whoa, ex for whoa, whoa, lock up, whoa, lock up, lock up the ex woman who was at the time Todd woman too was one big story. I didn't talk the story though, cause Todd and whoa, ex there. <laughs> yes, whoa, Oh Jesus Christ, yes. 
Anyway, I'm coming out of this thing because yeah, I'm talking about the people's story. I want the one that want the linen boy to come GT. Who's the? I want to try with Rodrigues. Kwame. Listen. Yeah, just leave me alone. Anyways, all jokes aside now. Let me stop making jokes. Yeah, so. I'm sure y'all heard everything I said. Um, Just wanted to come live. Well the, minister, well, the minister's son is next on the list. If all the minister for um, Roxanne, well, I hear nobody's son. Only it's son just kill a woman, so. And let me tell you something. Now that we're talking about minister's son, y'all know that accident that happened that was on, on Guyana Day. Shit, I got the accident. Where the black vehicle, the government vehicle, as they say, that ran into that, ran into that, that them people care. Y'all know the man's wife died, and y'all know that it was Onage, minister, Onage, you know, it's her son, killed the people, killed the woman. So, there's another story that we can hear nothing about, that can cover down, but late was me, late was me son or anybody else son in Guyana. He would have done, he would have done their book and passing through the court for dangerous driving and if you read the comments under that accident you will see that people were come people came in and people comment and keep frank out <laughs> listen i left these ministers alone people came in and people were commenting and talking about how he was driving reckless leading up to that accident so you understand and y'all hear not y'all ain't hear nothing but y'all hear anything about the young man going to court because the my wife dead, the lady died in that accident. That he ran into them and he was wrong. It was da dangerous driving. But he mother is a minister and he mother named Onage. Nothing ain't gonna come out to the story. Watch and see. Um, hold on. Somebody sending my request to join. Gonna come to that story nothing them don't pay the family millions because i ain't hear nothing else about the story i just see the vehicle and it's government vehicle too opposition sleeping on every fucking thing we get our opposition we are why y'all all about opposition we ain't got no opposition where we getting the from what opposition you know, these big men sending me friend requests to come on this live. It's time for me to go. President Dr. Irfan Ali received a courtesy visit from Grammy Awards winning producer Ron Andre Elvis Telford. Telford, a U.S.-based Guyanese, won the award for being a manager on the production team for world-renowned artiste Beyonce's seventh studio album, Renaissance. Ron, co-founder and CEO of Creative Titans, a full-service entertainment company with a boutique label, management, publishing, and marketing services. He founded Creative Titans in 2017 as a continuation of my desire to highlight artists, producers, and musicians across the global diaspora, including the Caribbean, Africa, Latin America, the UK, and territories outside of North America. He carefully crafted the business with a personal stake in bringing attention to areas of the world considered in consequential to the music industry at large. A lifelong entrepreneur, Ron initially got industry recognition in New York City and Miami with successful, organic music events and parties, and even opened multiple popular restaurants after graduating from St. John's University with a bachelor's in computer science and a focus in business. His marketing mastery, interpersonal skills and candid, straightforward demeanor led me to managing artists directly through organic relationships. His personal roster started with Jamaican dancer hall artist Popeye Caution and eventually Grammy Award winning creatives like Jamaican producer Izzy Beats and Jamaican producer and DJ Walshy Fire of Major Lazer. The company expanded as bidding wars ensued amongst publishing companies to sign Creative Titans and its undeniable roster. They entered a joint venture deal with Concord Music Publishing. Currently, the Creative Titans team of writers and producers are responsible for a large percentage of the music coming out of the Caribbean in Latin America, including hit records such as Coffee's Toast from her 2020 Grammy-winning album, Reggae in Duet King's Wissen Why Yandel No. 1 hit single Recorder, Georgia Smith's Be Honest featuring Burna Boy and several songs for Beyonce including Hold Up, Sorry and Move as well as an energetic remix of Hootie and the Blowfish's Turn It Up.
8 Butterfly Sea Moss Powder. Take your daily routine to the next level. Natural Vegan Superfood Powder. Essential Multivitamin Powder made just for you. Said that the ranks of the Guyana Police Force are constantly being trained. But the government is Guyana is uncomfortable with the levels of crime and violence seen in the country. This is... <laughs> Gail... That, that nicotine or whatever you're smoking, that can't be tobacco, man. That can't be some real, real cheap weed. Got to be, got to be for you to be making these type of statements. And then here what the analysts quote is saying, quote, we are constantly training our police officers to make them better qualified and better suited to deal with crime and criminality in the country. More forensic approaches to investigate. I thought Mavis had tendered a resignation. Huh? from party and politics but apparently that's not the case may is, may is on leave and receiving pay troy fraser the man then purportedly said to the officer you ain't see attacking to someone you, you ain't see attacking to some effing body and the thing the cop said to him wait is me you're talking to so too the businessman then allegedly said to the cop, carry you, Guyanese special word. 